are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, thank you so much for taking time to do this today, um, especially since we've done this once before <laughs> and our Zoom recording failed us. <laughs> uh, Savannah's an extra rock star today. She's taking extra time for us to have this conversation again. But it's so good that I want everybody to be able to hear um, your experience as a high school senior who has missed the opportunity for a lot of the senior events and activities that you've been looking forward to. And uh, I saw your article in the Alabaster Connection magazine. And when I saw your article, I just thought to myself, I, I want everybody to hear your perspective because one, your experience and then your outlook is so encouraging. And so I wanted people to be able to hear it. So uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, just what your experience has been as a senior who's had all of your, you know, senior activities, you know, really taken from you because of the virus and the season that we're in. Um, I think at first um, we thought it was just going to be like, a short little break to not have to do our work because we already are kind of over the work at this point and really sure. excited to do all the fun stuff. So um, it just um, it didn't seem as big of a deal at first. And then um, I remember when Governor Ivy came on and was just like, we're done, like the rest of the year is online. So I think it was just a lot of disappointment and shock at first um, because we didn't really know what that meant as far as graduation and all of our events. Um, but obviously as it developed, um, it was kind of just like, um, it didn't look, it looked bleak as far sure. as us to do things. So um, it turned into a little bit of anger and um, resentment um, probably towards a lot of people. It seemed like we were angry, um, but I think it was just more of the disappointment coming out in a different way. Sure. Um, but Alabaster City Schools has done a really good job at trying to make this as fun um, and as normal as possible. So I want to thank them for all they've done. Yeah. Well, I was actually at the high school uh, that last Friday of school. Uh, no one knew that would be the last Friday of school that, at the moment. But there was a lot of talk about what was going to happen if the school season would be cut short. And I had not processed at that moment. That was back in March. Um, the the you know the consequences of what you guys would face as seniors because there was a lot of seniors in the class uh, that I was in and they were talking about their their ball season prom graduations um, all the senior things that you guys look forward to and um, as a senior at Thompson High School I know you guys have just been dreaming of things since juniors in high school I, it's not been that long ago since I was there in in, in high school and remember you know, looking forward to being a senior and all the fun things that you get to do. So you mentioned, you know, being disappointed and, and some of those things. Tell me a little bit about some of those emotions that were wrapped up in that time, because I know a lot of people deal with emotions differently. And I was so impressed with you because of not only being able to identify some of the feelings and the emotions that you were having, um, but you've also been able to journey through that. But what were some of the things that you started with and then, you know, tell me a little bit about the journey that you've taken, because now we're on the other side of it. You've had some time to process. So just tell me a little bit about that emotional journey that you've taken. Um, I think um, at first it was obviously the disappointment and anger, as I mentioned before. Um, but I think it was just because um, it came on so soon and um, there wasn't a lot of time to process. So we had done all the work and we were all kind of tired of the work and um, really excited to do all the fun things that were literally just down the road, <laughs> like the next the next couple weeks and the next month was all the, the parade of graduates and um, prom was coming up like the next week. Um, so um, it was just, it was just anger and disappointment at first. Um, but then I think it turned into um, coming to terms with it um, and being grateful for what we do get to have because it really could have been nothing. We could have, Alabaster City Schools could have just said, well, that's it, like it's over. Um, but they worked hard and I think there's something to be grateful for there yeah. um, that they tried to give us a normal graduation and then we'll have a pretty normal graduation on the 19th. Um, and we get to have it at our own school, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, That's awesome. So, yeah. So perspective a lot. 
I love that because, you know, initially you're, we're focused on our loss and, and how it affects us. Like, I'm not going to get to do this. I want to experience this. Um, but you mentioned um, even uh, in our prior conversation about thinking even about those who are in college about to miss college graduation. And then they're trying to enter into careers in a, in a you know, uncertain economic season that we're in. And so, you know, when you start looking at the, the big picture, you have a perspective of it's not, I'm not the only one who's dealing with this. And there are some other people that are going through this. And so I love that you have been able to process, um, you know, just the big picture of, you know, hey, it, it is difficult, but we're all in this together. And then I know that you've been an encouragement to people because you can't have as positive as an outlook as you have uh, without being an encouragement and then help to other people. I know you have, uh, but who have been people in your life that have been encouraging to you? Do you feel like you've had a support system that's really been helping you stay motivated and encouraged? Um, yeah, for sure. And it hasn't all been um, perfect, obviously. <laughs> um, but my parents have been a really big help. Um, they've even been trying to make it special, just doing little things. Um, and, you know, the community really rallied together um, to support us and throw little things. There was a um, parade of graduates through Grandview. And I know a lot of people who probably don't even have kids in school um, or graduated a really long time ago came out to um, show them support and make them feel really special. I didn't get to go to it, but I know a lot of my friends um, did and they had a lot of fun. Um, and I think growing up in the household I've grown up in has been really encouraging um, to just knowing that God has a purpose for every person's life. And even though we go through trials because of the fallen world we live in, um, there's, there's always a lesson to be learned and a good to be taken from it. Um, and God knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> so um, even though we question things, he's there and he knows what he wants. That's awesome. So perspective is a big deal. People is a big deal, having a good support system who are around us. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I think there are probably a lot of people uh, who may even be watching our conversation uh, today who may not have that support system, you know, in their life, people that's, that's helping them. Um, and we all struggle in different ways processing our feelings and our emotions um, when there's a lot of stress and unknown and worry. Savannah, what would you say to people maybe who are um, maybe dealing with that today, maybe even? They're, they're students who are, you know, trying to still process the disappointment and all those, and maybe they haven't reached to the, the destination you have on this side of it. What would you say to them that may be a good help for them to process a lot of their emotions and feelings? I think that um, a lot of it is just knowing that your feelings are valid and that you don't have to feel guilty for feeling that way because it is happening to you. Um, but don't soak in that and don't um, let that be all that you think about. Um, I think that there's a lot of different things um, that can encourage us in this time. Um, just, just look around and um, see the good that's around you. Um, even if you don't have necessarily all the support systems that I mentioned. Um, I didn't, I didn't mention friends. If you have friends maybe outside of your family um, yeah. that are in the same grade or even below you, encourage them to um, look forward to their senior year and really take in every moment. And if you have friends in the same grade, um, just in, confide in them and um, let them know how you feel. And I'm sure that they feel the same way because I still have those feelings. Um, sometimes um, it's definitely not perfect. I don't feel <laughs> I, I don't feel grateful all the time. Sometimes I, I still have my selfish teenage moments, and um, but I think just looking at just just having a bigger perspective than it's just you, um, but also not getting caught up in feeling guilty about it um, because yeah. that can make you feel a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Don't feel guilty about your feelings. We all have them. And you said your, your, your selfish teenage feelings, uh, um, I think is how you put it, but we all have those. Even as adults, you know, we have those moments where we just, it's, it's about us. And I think we have to know what we're feeling. You have to have that inward understanding of where you are. That's healthy, uh, but it's, it's what you do with it. And so I, I love that your thought on the perspective is a big deal. 
having people in your life is a big deal. Um, I echo what you think about our community. We have a great community and it's full of people, students and adults who care about each other and we want the best for each other. And so I would say for anybody who's maybe struggling and doesn't have that support system, just reach out. There are people who care and, uh, and who want to help, you know, wherever they are. So Savannah, I am uh, so thankful for your perspective. I'm so proud of you uh, for being able to just process all of this and not only for yourself, um, but you're being an encouragement to so many people. I was encouraged by your article and I wanted more people to hear your outlook and your perspective. So congratulations on graduation. That's a big deal, completing your high school um, you know, education and your high school career. So what's next? Tell us a little bit about your next step. What's, what's, what's ahead for you? So I'll be attending the University of Alabama at Huntsville in the fall. Um, and I hope to pursue a major in um, human resource management and um, a minor in philosophy. Uh, I really hope to work at a hospital one day, um, get involved with maybe the ethics committee and hospital administration. My sister is a nurse, so uh, she's been working through all this and I've gotten to hear her perspective from um, her being at the hospital and she's had to work with human resources um, a lot. So I just really like um, the environment there. So I'd really like to work there, but um, hopefully that will happen. So that's what I would like to do. That's incredible. You're gonna do a great job. We wish you all the best, all the success in the days ahead and uh, we're rooting for you. And uh, thank you so much for spending your time and encouraging us today. Of course. <laughs> thank you.